orthopedics short case discussion so the in this video relevant clinical findings and probable questions are discussed so this is a presentation of patient take time to inspect well 19 year old male complained of a swelling in proximal part of left arm with duration 5 years insidious in onset gradually progressive no pain discharge trauma other swellings no constitutional symptoms no relevant family history no sudden increase in size so we are proceeding the case with chief presenting complaint so i am repeating once again swelling in the proximal part of left arm since 5 years now history of presenting illness the patient has developed swelling in proximal part of left arm which was insidious in onset gradually progressive and no association with pain so what's our inference here so it's likely to be benign why it is chronic since the duration is for 5 years and painless it also exclude infection and inflammatory since that are acute in onset and painful condition it is not malignant why because it's gradual in progression no sudden increase in size no history of discharge which excludes the infections cause no other swellings no other constitutional symptoms like fever or weight loss which excludes malignant change past history treatment history and family history there is no significant history to be mentioned clinical examination and vitals are normal so dd from the history so the first we are confirming the site of the swelling so if we are uh, remembering the photo from the presentation it is the site is just below the shoulder joint so the site is we are confirming the site first that is metaphysis of upper end of humerus and the possible dds are simple bone cyst with why with because it is common site of occurrence it is it can be osteochondroma why we are saying like that because the site is from metaphysis it is painless and it is most common tumor to occur we can say it can be osteosarcoma because of the site proceeding to local examination with proper exposure to upper limb we are starting our local examination with inspection so inspection with swelling please observe the clinical photograph so the site is as previously mentioned the metaphysis of upper end of humerus shape and size of the swelling it's approximately 4 into 3 into 1 cm avoid swelling in inspection of the surface it appears as smooth the skin over the swelling is normal and no scar so what can you infer from this situation that is there is no discharging sinus redness or edema which excludes infection it also excludes osteosarcoma how because osteosarcoma are tense glossy redness with dilated veins and there is also no deformity of the shoulder joint and the contour of the shoulder is maintained and no wasting of muscle around the swelling on palpation there is no rise of temperature no tenderness no ulcer sinuses which is excludes the signs of infection clinically detail of the swellings the size and shape are same as previously mentioned surface on palpation it is non nodular the margins from the image is well defined what it suggest it suggest benign disease now commenting about the consistency if it if the swelling is hard it is bony swelling likely to be osteochondroma if variable soft to hard suggestive of malignant growth so site of origin of swelling how do we test so we ask 
patient to contract the muscle corresponding to the side of swelling so in case in here we are asking to contract deltoid if the swelling is less prominent we can comment that it is deep to muscle if swelling is superficial it is more prominent it will be more prominent no change the swelling is arising from the muscle in this case the swelling is deep to the muscle fixity around surrounding structures if uh, it can be in muscle skin or neurovascular structures if there is fixity in muscles though occurs weakness so here the deltoid adduction movement will be affected if there is fixity in skin it appears as edematous and non pingeable now fixity fixity to neurovascular structures according to our case how do we measure it or how do we know it by pulsation of brachial artery and radial artery nerves how do we know it there is a wrist drop or wrist drop due to axillary nerve in our case there is no fixity to muscle skin or neurovascular structures as these findings are negative there is no swellings elsewhere so the next question arises is how will you proceed or manage the patient so our answer should be investigation by x ray so on x ray as we can see here there is on the metaphysis of the upper end of humerus there is a bony growth made of mature cortical bone and marrow so therefore we exclude simple cyst pain from the history and incidental finding simple cyst are incidental finding so on x ray simple cyst are well defined radiolucent zone with in the metaphysis or diaphysis of the bone and we also exclude osteosarcoma since the signs of malignant change from the history are absent and on x ray osteosarcoma appears as eroded lesion periosteal reaction and sunray appearance so what are other possible dds here in our case it can be osteoclastoma giant cell tumor so how can we exclude uh, such diagnosis is by side in giant cell tumor the site is epiphyseal metaphyseal in origin they are expansile eccentric and epiphyseal more in more in epiphyseal aneurysmal bone cyst other dd it is sudden increase in size and painful swelling so next question will be why do we take x ray to confirm the diagnosis and plan for the treatment so what is the treatment of the disease so we are confirming the disease as osteochondroma first and we treat the osteochondroma by wide excision including periosteum over exostosis now which type of osteochondroma there are two types sessile and pedunculated since here from the x ray and the from the figure there is no stock it is directly in origin with the bone so it is sessile type of osteochondroma so if you observe the swelling and appearance on x ray there is discrepancy between the both sizes why is that because the cartilage component is not visible in x ray so to add more it is good to have thorough knowledge of muscles and their nerve supplies as questions from them are expected thank you and if you have any questions or any doubts please share in your comment and share your views also